I am going to do a seascape using a high wet strength tissue paper which I rest onto a non-porous surface. I'm working with NeoArt and NeoColor 2 water soluble waxes. The first thing I need to do is to wet my paper. I put it into my water pot. Then I rest it on the side of my non-porous surface, a piece of laminated paper. I use a dry piece of kitchen towel to swipe off the excess water, but I don't want to take too much of it, so it's a very light touch. I smooth out any air bubbles. And now I'm going to use a black crayon to put an edge on the paper. This black is going to emphasise any other colour I use around it. So next I'm going to come in with a purple and go down the paper. Next I'm coming in with a blue and I do small circular motions drawing from the centre outwards and I come in with another blue. working my way down the paper. Now I'm going to use near colour 2 and I'm using the end of the crayon, the flat edge, as that works well on the tissue paper. And once again, I'm darkening the bottom of the paper. Now I'm going to use a small plastic tube to blend the colours together and it's again, once again, it's small circle motions and I go backwards and forwards across the paper until I get this blend I'm satisfied with. Then I clean my till roll off with a wet piece of kitchen towel and I just clean up the edges just to tidy up. Now I'm going to come in with a palette knife and some white acrylic paint on the edge of my palette knife. And I'm going to produce a horizon line. I'm just straightening the paper up here. And initially I'm going to use a piece of dry kitchen towel just to remove some moisture where I want to place this horizon line. Now I'm going to load the palette knife up with the paint and just put the palette knife in and then just pull towards me and that should give me just the perfect amount of paint on there. I hold the palette knife in this way and I adjust and swipe across and then come back again, swipe across and now I zigzag down in a quite a jerky motion lowering the knife as I go near to the end of the paper. And I'm just going to go right across again just to tidy up that edge and there you have the beginnings of a seascape. I clean the palette knife off with the wet tissue paper. Now I'm going to come in with the end of my brush. The, must, the brush must be rounded, the end must be rounded for this to work effectively. So now I'm going to come in with my dry piece of kitchen towel to remove some moisture where I want to place the moon. I dab one, two, three, and lift. Now I use the brush upright and press down and make a dot. I'm actually going round and round just to enlarge the dot a little. Now I'm going to come in from the edge of the background into the centre of the white dot and I'm removing some of the paint from the edge and this is going to give me a three-dimensional effect on the moon. And then I just blur and blend in the centre. Please note, each time I do this, I clean my, the end of my brush off. If I don't do this, I can make the moon irregular in shape. And there is the seascape in about two to three minutes. Thank you very much for your time.